Dominican Republican, Re Dominican Republic native, Yudi Medio. I'm Bethel Duran alongside Doug Fisher and making his long awaited debut, Angel Bojado. He's 22 years old, coming in with 154 pounds. This is somebody that I met 15 years ago <laughs> when his older brother Angel was the hot prospect Mexican Olympian out of the 2000 Olympics. He was basically a toddler. And a at the time named Gary Shaw joked that I've already signed this kid. I already signed the younger brother because people were thinking, hey, if he has half of the talent, the natural ability of Angel Bojado, he can be something in the professional ranks. And that is exactly what they're doing. Golden Boy signed him. There he is being let in. A lot of people supporting him. He's a popular young man. He's a good interview. Hey, a lot of people in his corner. And he does have a lot of talent. He's a, he's a natural fighter. And this is long awaited. I thought he was going to make his pro debut last summer on a, a, a Golden Boy Promotions HBO Latino card at the Los Angeles Sports Arena. Ring announcer Joe Martinez. Have a good clean fight. You turn to your corner and wait the bell. Good luck. Ready to go. Let's look at the tail of the tape for this fight. Bajado is three years younger at age 22. Silverio is one inch taller and has a slight reach advantage. Angel Bojado, 22 years old, wearing the green, white, and red trunks. The Mexican eagle on the side. Long-awaited debut, over 150 amateur wins. Taking on Yuri Silverio. 12 rounds in his pro underneath his belt. All losses have the distance. Turned pro in October of last year in two fights in Florida, one in Pennsylvania. First time to California. A lot of people here for Angel Boy. Big think, following yeah. behind him. I think he sold some tickets. Some. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a lot of. He just sold some tickets. They're loud. They're, They're loud ticket holders. But it sounds like he sold more than tickets. Body work. We're sitting, Doug. There is the entire section. They're supposed to be sitting. They're standing up, and everybody has to. It looks like it's a concert right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody is just standing up in this. And nobody, it, the thing is, nobody's telling anybody to sit down. You're nah. blocking my view. Everybody's standing up. Nice. You'll notice with Angel Bajado, quick hands. He's a good combination puncher, a good counter puncher. Shown to be a smart boxer in sparring footage that I've seen of him. He's somebody who's been in there with a lot of seasoned pros. Fighting at 154 pounds tonight is Bojado. 22 years old. Not going to have the definition on his body. But he packs a punch. Body. But he packs a punch. What else have you taught me, Doug? It's not a bodybuilding contest? No, it's not. You know, his, his older brother, Francisco, never had the body beautiful. 
I mean, even when he was in really good shape, he, he never had like the washboard stomach. So it just might be, yeah, it just might be genetic. Nevertheless, the Bajado's very quick hands. Yep. Hands, fast and fluid. They're athletic, even if they don't look the part. Bajado by Jose Estrada. Opening round in his professional career for Angel Bojado. I feel like he, you know, most times we see a guy, they come out like a bull at a china shop running right. around. Looking calm is Bojado. Good right hand landed by the 22-year-old Mexican. Another good right hand. Body work going up. Dominican. Final seconds of the opening round. It's scheduled for four. Mahato oh. nailing the body with his right, coming up with a left hook to the head. Faked him to the head and jabbed to the body. There's another feint. There's the jab to the head, right hand to the body. Partially slipped that jab. I'm sorry, that was a right hand from Silverio. Second round, ready to go. Bojado in the Mexican, green, white, and red. The Dominican, Silverio. 0-3 in his career. Living in Kissimmee, Florida. Body work from Bojado. He's got some heavy hands on, push down. Referee, Lou Moret on top of that right away. <laughs> like he's, Bojado, Doug, is loading up on his punches here. Yeah, he was a little bit, but he's patient, and you noted that in the opening round of this fight. Using those Reyes gloves, that's more of a puncher glove, isn't it? Yeah, you can make a tighter fist, and the padding you use in gloves is more, more dense than the padding used in other gloves. Yeah, he's very calm, poised in there. Doesn't look like a kid coming from the amateurs. Not at all. Well, he looks very mature for his age. And he, he's looking for his spots. Whenever he does land a clean punch, if it's an effective shot, then he'll open up with combinations. And I like the way he mixed the punches to the body and the head yep. in the opening round, and we'll see if he continues to do that in the second, second round here. That was a nice right to the body from Bajado. Mentioned behind a lot of people around him. Good support staff. As we're starting more now with boxers, they have their own uh, social media team. <laughs> he has a photographer ringside tonight, taking pictures exclusively of Bohada. That's it's 2016, Bohada. Dougie. Yep. 2016. If you don't got yep. it, then you're missing out. I'm sure he's got a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Got some Bohado gear. He's got sponsors on those trunks. Does he? Oh, yeah. Okay. In the front trunk. When Sergio Mora was in fight Daniel Jacobs last summer, one of his sparring partners, Otto. Oh, yeah. Otto gave him really good work. The Latin snake, Sergio Mora. Yeah. Don't they have a rematch coming up? Yeah, rematch coming up. So who knows? Maybe Bajado's sparring with him right now. Silverio doing a good job of covering himself up. Yeah, Silverio takes a good punch, which also covers up well. It's tagged with a quick left hook. Double jabs from Bojado. Bojado's going to have to hurt him to the body, I think. And he's going to do that by faking to the head and then going to the body. Because when Silverio thinks he's going to, Bojado's going to punch to the head, he raises those elbows up. He raises that guard up, exposing his ribcage. 
Final seconds of the second round. And a fighter making his pro debut, Angel Bojado. It's scheduled for four. We'll be back with the third. Jab from Silverio. Left uppercut splits the guard of Silverio. Nice right hand landed by Bojado. Third round of action. And there you see Bojado coming out with some aggression. Wow, he came alive at the start of this round three. Oh, shot. Picking his spot is Bojado. Now he's got that lather going. This is what it was called a swing bout. A swing bout is a fighter, it's usually a four rounder, and you could either go on a TV broadcast or you go after it depends on how the open the opening bout goes. So if the opening bout goes the distance as Joette Gonzalez did tonight, that you usually gotta means wait. you're gonna wait. <laughs> if it goes under a certain amount of rounds, I mean, you can. so you have to as Bojado need to go maybe an hour ago, maybe an hour and a half ago, right. and then they're like cool down. That's part of the growing up process in, the, in this world. So this is bonus coverage on Ring TV Live, but they were called the swing bout, and it's just something deal with as you're coming up so they're fighting after the main event but it's still a packed crowd and i'm getting tweets using the hashtag ring tv live people watching from oxnard doug watching this also uh, somebody veronica is watching at disneyland all right so bahato has some fans oh out yeah there. of course thanks everybody watching sending us a tweet throughout the night i'm durant sports he's doug yeah, a lot of, lot of hardcore Southern California fans have been waiting a long time for this, for this pro debut. I've heard stories about Panchito Bojado's younger brother, about his potential. And he's looking good. I like what I see. And I like some of the punches from his opponent tonight. Yep. That, was a nice, that was a nice left hook a moment ago from Panchito. He's not in here just to down. Oh, a nice little chopping uh, right cross landed by Silverio. Silverio trying to respect here. Oh, nice body. body shots, yeah, from both sides. Good right hand from the Dominican. Silverio trying to pay Bajado back from coming out hard on him, <laughs> trying to thunderdome yep. him. Yeah. So you tried to light me up at the start of this round. Payback. Swing and a miss. Swinging for the fences. Bajado showing some variation, just kind of tapping. Maybe trying to lull Severio asleep again before he turns. Also, could serve his energy. It's different. Amateurs only two minute rounds. Here you go in three. Don't look at the referee, Lou Moret. They're not going to help you. <laughs> Right cross, maybe momentarily stunned Silverio. Bajano thought he saw something, turned up the heat at the start of the round, but 
by the middle of the round, Silverio was landing some shots to the body. Fourth and final round. The last round of the night from the Belasco Theater. Let's look at the card after three. Doug, how do you have it? I have three to 27. I scored round three for Bojato, but it was competitive. I won't be shocked if at least one of the official judges scores round three for Severio based on some of those uh, choice body shots from the Dominican. Yeah, those easily the best round for the Dominican. Severio, 25 years old, born in Santo Domingo, the Dominican River. He's in the gray trunks. Angel Bojado, 22 years old, making his pro debut in the green, white, and red of Mexico. Oh, good body shot. Getting some work in, getting some rounds in. Time to go the boy promotions. Find at the Belasco Theater. Next one for us, August 19th, here at the Belasco. Get your tickets, it'll be a good one with the main event featuring Slava Shabransky. For Silverio, nice. And when you only have four rounds, as a young fighter, you only do so much. You trying to pace yourself, trying to learn everything. That's why they start these guys off at four rounds before you graduate to six, before you get to eight, then ten. Yeah, you pace yourself, but you can't fall asleep in there. Can't afford to give away rounds in a four-round bout. Looking good. It's right from Silverio. Yeah, but he, he's uh, out-muscled and outworked by Bojato so far. And with a minute left to go, I'm curious to see how Bojato closes out this show. Yep. Does he gun for the knockout? Just increase his activity? Does he sit on his lead? Uppercut there. Let's see what he does. Silverio's not going anywhere, though. He's tough. Yeah, it was a good choice of uh, a debut opponent for Bajado. Silverio's gone the distance in all three of his fights. He's gone, oh, he's 0-3. But uh, it's a tough way to earn it. First time to California ever in his career. You go up against a highly tighter prospect than Angel Bajado. Most guys would have shied away and said, no, nah, I'm not taking that fight. Right. Up for the challenge. I, I like what I see from Bajado. He can do a lot in there. And it's a different world than the pros from the amateurs. You can let your a little bit different. Most important thing is to finally get into that ring. And they do it. They hug it up. Yeah. They go the distance. Angel Bajado and Yuri Silverio close out the night. Fun fight. Fun fight. Yeah, Silverio uh, earned Bajado's respect. And I think uh, gave a respectable performance. Might have won one round, but he was at least competitive in this fight. Let's look at highlights from the fourth and final round. Nice body shots from Bojato. He touches with his jab. Both guys keeping a high go. A nice uh, right uppercut. Tapping Silverio with the uh, the hook. As the flush hook landed by Bojato. Nice right uppercut on the inside as he bulled Silverio to the ropes. Uh, the judges, that's what we're going to go to. They're telling up their cards. We really do appreciate everybody watching tonight on Ring TV. Benny and Sylvia in the 805, appreciate you and your tweets watching another person from Disneyland. All right. Look, look they even sent a picture, Doug. Walking through. Oh. <laughs> Those are some dead. What do you call the people that are dedicated to boxing like that? Uh, Hardcores? Diehards? The diehards. Have it the same 40 to 36 for your winner by unanimous decision in his professional debut, Angel Bahama. And he sold a lot of tickets. You hear a loud roar when the name of Angel Bahama is shouted. Joe Martinez announces Bojato sweeps the card. The 22 year old from Los Angeles wins his pro debut. And we'll see him again very soon, I'm sure.
Definitely before the year is out. Oh, yeah. Probably another one of these cards. Or perhaps one of uh, the shows in uh, in Indio, Fantasy Springs Casino. Well, we have 819 at Belasco. Maybe not that one. We do have 92 at Belasco. And then also 930 Fantasy Springs. And then you see the upcoming right. calendar, LA Fight Club. Go to goldenboypromotions.com. Ticket packages are available. Make sure you get them, especially for the 19 with Slava Shabransky, the Ukrainian. He brings a I'm big. I'm looking forward to watching. In crowd with him. Yeah, unbeaten light heavyweight contender. Yes, he is. Slavik he's, he's all action. Six fights tonight. Let's look at quickly at Angel from his pro debut. Good, solid performance. I'll tell you what, Bajado, for a guy who just now made his pro debut, he looks like a complete fighter. Does a little bit of everything. Nice stick to the body. Nice left uppercut splitting the guard. Nice counter right hand. Blocking there. And there you see it. A good night of boxing from the Belasco Theater. Six fights came your way on Ring TV Live. Francisco Esparza with the first round KO. Jose Gonzalez, first round KO. Pablo Rubio Jr. went the distance. He's now 7 0. Joe Gonzalez improves the 14 0. Angel Bojado with the win for Doug Fisher. I'm Bethel Duran. Say thank you for watching and good night.